What I'm standing in right now is the what was the bottom of the South Fork Dam near Johnstown, Pennsylvania. This is the dam that in 1889 broke and completely flooded and completely flooded Johnstown, Pennsylvania. This disaster is known for many things, the loss of life and be mainly the loss of life and it was one of the first um first um area first big disasters that the American Red Cross worked on. And this little creek is all that remains of it. Main of what was at one point. I'm 70 feet down more or less from that top of that hill right there. Which was the top of the lake that sat here. So that was God knows how many gallons of water rushing down. This little stream is all that really remains. It looks actually quite healthy, to be perfectly honest. And this disaster was all caused by a couple of million couple millionaires. Uh, a bunch of millionaires, a bunch of rich people who um, thought they knew better. And when that storm hit on May 31st, 1889, the, foot, the water rose a foot an hour and the dam broke. And history is written. So after reading that plaque, that water had an hour, well, 20 million tons of water, had an hour to float down the 14 miles of river, and it took 10 minutes just to completely destroy Johnstown. I mean, look at how high those walls are. So that was a very big bunch of water that just came rushing out really fast. Okay, just for bass, for fish. Mm hmm. They're called black bass. Yep. So what you're looking at right now is the South Fork Hunting and Fishing Fishing Club's well, the clubhouse basically. Let's go up on the porch. See if we can't go inside of it. Door's locked, but yeah, because right over there would have been where that where the dam would have been, where that reservoir would have been, because they stocked it with fish. Look at this, though. This is cool. This historic structure once served as a clubhouse for the South Fork Fishing and Hunting Club. I'll be damned.